vaccine mandates. People are talking about them, people are arguing about them, even libertarians are arguing about them, which is strange seeing as how you'd have thought that the libertarian position on vaccine mandates would be clear. So vaccine mandates, uh, the idea that um, you should um, either ban people from existing without having a vaccine, like you have to get a vaccine, a mandate to get the vaccine, or at the very least you should ban them from entering uh, places of business, like shops and stuff like that, without a vaccine, without having had a vaccine. Uh, the libertarians believe that you own yourself, you own your own body, you can decide whether you want to get injected with a vaccine or not. You also own your own house and your own business, etc. Uh, and so if you want to allow the unvaccinated into your property, that's your decision. Problem solved. Um, Unfortunately, there are two groups of libertarians who seem to be in opposition to this. You've got the Cato-style libertarians who say that, well, actually, no vaccine mandates are perfectly libertarian because going around and spreading disease is, um, is harming other people. It's uh, assaulting them. And so, therefore, um, it should be required that you have this thing that prevents you from um, spreading that disease. A uh, few problems with that. Number one, the vaccines don't seem to be that effective. Like, it's not a panacea. Um, the, the data is still coming in, but it doesn't. It, it's certainly not a clear delineation between vaccinated, um, totally clean, unvaccinated disease spreader. Uh, second, we already have a solution to that. It's called private property rights. Right? You're only going to be able to get the disease from someone else um, if you're in an, in a building with them. Right? It, it doesn't really tend to happen on the streets. Um, it's going to happen when you're in a building with someone and someone owns that building. That person should be the one to decide whether or not they're allowing vaccine, vaccinated people or unvaccinated people in. Pretty simple. Uh, but that whole Cato libertarian argument to the side, what about the other side of things? There's also a group of um, libertarians who are going in the other direction. They support something like what they have um, in Florida. You know, uh, Ron DeSantis's, um uh, his mandate or his ban of mandates, we should say. Um, he's not only not um, going to use the government to prevent private business officers from allowing vaccinate, unvaccinated people into their properties, he's also um, preventing private businesses from preventing the unvaccinated onto their properties. Basically banning private uh, vaccine mandates is what he's doing. And there's a lot of libertarians saying that they support this. This also seems obviously against libertarian principles, right? It's their business. If they don't want to allow vaccinated people on, then yeah, that's that's it. End, end of. Um, however, let me give you a few examples of this one because it's uh, you got you got to see it to believe it. Uh, Top Lobster, libertarian um, merch maker, uh, calls Dave Smith opposing the um, vaccine mandate bans a very rare L from Dave Smith. Um, Fat Dave Smith, a parody of Dave Smith, who is still nonetheless a libertarian, says that. Um, he agrees that mandates on private businesses are reprehensible and tyrannical, but he also says that the US would be significantly better off having a DeSantis-type ban than a New York-type ban. False choice? I mean, how about we support neither? Anyway, um, Nick Individual saying if someone uses violence against you, it's justified to use violence against them in return. Um, this doesn't make any sense either because Florida using its using violence to prevent um, private businesses in Florida from enacting their vaccine mandates. That's using violence against people who have nothing to do with the vaccine mandates in New York or anything else like that. But that, that those are innocent third parties. You're getting hit by one guy and going out and punching another. That's not self defense. Um, there's also uh, Pete Quinones saying that he's a libertarian who lives in the real world. Uh, race is a suspect class under the Equal Protection Clause. Tell me why vaccination status shouldn't be also. And also saying that the state is going to expand no matter what happens. He'd rather expands in a way that uh, benefits him. He also says that, hey, what if uh, the market just supports vaccine mandates? Your move, libertarians. Okay. Um, any area that supports... A ban on vaccine mandates does not need to ban vaccine mandates. You, Pete, are the one not living in the real world if you think you're going to get the New York government to enforce a ban on vaccine mandates in private businesses. Right? That's just not going to happen. What you, what you might be able to get is somewhere like Florida. And what you have managed to get is somewhere like Florida to ban uh, vaccine mandates in private businesses. But Florida doesn't need to do that. 
because there would always be alternative um, businesses to um, provide services for the for the unvaccinated, right? Otherwise, there wouldn't be the political will in Florida to have the vaccine mandate ban in the first place, right? Any situation in which um, you're actually going to be able to convince the government to enforce a vaccine mandate ban is a situation where the vaccine mandates of private businesses wouldn't be a significant issue anyway. So, yeah, it seems like you are not living in the real world if you think that you're going to get New York to ban um, the vaccine mandates. Additionally, you don't want to be the counterweight um, against libertarianism, which is what you're doing in this situation, right? If, if you start supporting state power, you're not going to individually actually have control over the kind of state power that gets interacted. All you're going to be is one more voice in the milieu of culture in favor of more state power. And that's just going to benefit those who are trying to get the state to take more control, right? There's this idea that um, people who aren't willing to use state power um, are not living in the real world. No, quite the opposite. If you are trying to use state power, you're not living in the real world. Using state power doesn't actually accomplish the goals that you want it to, right? You are not going to have the effect that you want to have by using the state. And in any situation where you will, you didn't need to in the first place. Um, I also think that standing up for libertarian principles is a good thing in and of itself. Right? This is something that's getting weirdly controversial, but um, if you actually hold to a principle, that creates a shelling point. Like, it creates a line in the sand that you that we shall not cross. If you don't have some kind of hard line, and I say and say that, you know, I, no, I, I support this, I don't support this, this is my hard line, then even if you can come up with some justification for why there are exceptions, um, you're going to have a bad uh, experience trying to communicate that to people, right? It's it's going to be a little bit kind of lost on people. Your your political will will not be recognized the way it would be if you are just very clear on like, no, against state power, no more state power, government bad, right? That kind of thing is, it, it's a shelling point that you can push towards. Um, the real irrationality comes from thinking you can micromanage the state, Right? You can have some influence on it, but you cannot determine its exact policies. So what you want to do is find general principles that will uh, have that will move in the direction you want and just hammer those as hard as possible. Right? That's the only way that you can have some kind of positive impact. Um, you might notice that this is a pragmatic argument in favor of principles. Right? These two things are not in conflict. You, you don't have like, oh, should I be principled or should I be pragmatic? You know, should I... They they tend to say something along the lines of, you know, you're going to end up in a private box car. You know, I think you'll get the joke. Um, but yeah, so I, I think that it's underrated how pragmatic having principles can be, is basically what I want you to take away from here. We have libertarian principles for reasons, because they work, because they achieve the outcomes that we want. Uh, yeah. So, pretty disappointed. Um, I thought that there were a lot uh, more hardcore libertarians around. I guess there are not. But oh well. I'm going to stay on my hard line. I'm going to keep being principled and pragmatic. And you guys who think you can micromanage what the state is doing, hopefully you'll come around. Here's a meme made by Bones the Rabbit. It's pretty funny. And here's my patrons. Bye. Oh, actually, before I go, should I do more videos like this? This was kind of off the cuff. It was not scripted or anything. It um, Obviously, I didn't edit it. Uh, yeah, do, do, should I do more of these? If I do, I can make more content. But, um, you know, maybe it wasn't good. Who knows? Let me know.